is no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. Don't laugh, you fucking pigs! Tonight, it's not a night for laughter. Because the current rate, the disclosure movement has grown to a halt. Chucky Schumer, personal enemy of mine. Friend, though. Not professionally, but, you know, the political spheres were enemies. But great guy, funny guy. He gutted the current bill moving forward to uh, create a whistleblower protection pocket for people within the UFO community, the intelligence community, they're willing to join the UFO community and it will not stand because I learned today the white people are half pig, half lemur and that's just one truth that's going to be disguised and, and investigated today because it's not a place for laughter this stream is a place for truth. You know, it's warm. I want to sit in the silence of pure, unadulterated truth. Sorry I was late. It's okay. You didn't miss much. Eddie was late. And we started late because of that. And guess what? It's people like him. It's what happens. Constituents of Chucky Schumer supporting that daffodil, weak politician that will not put in the provisions of security for the whistleblower, such as the very brave David Grush, who has said recently that we are talking about grace. NHIs, non-human intelligences, deeply embedded in the government, working oh, not just the, not just working for the government, but also they are the government. I haven't heard. So you have a new acronym now, NHI. Yes. Non-human intelligences. Yes. Wow. And non-human biologics. They're also called NHBs. So why do they have two different names? Why do they call them NHIs and not NHBs? Why? What's the difference? Should What's I the have point? stayed home? <laughs> Today's an extremely serious, <laughs> extremely serious episode. Of last stream on the left, because again, I'm tr you know, if I have to fight for truth every day, if I have to die, if I have to get shot in the head to tell the truth, I won't. Actually, I will back away. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> seem you. like your Good. style. But yeah. the second, uh, right up until, because if I'm not here, look at you. Don't know what's on this list yet. All right, but what's here is some of the most true. compelling yeah, can, UFO footage. They can't see it. Oh. Oh, what I have on this list is truly some of the most compelling footage of 2023. I have compiled it through various sources on the internet. Uh -huh. We're talking about jellyfish. We're talking about being half lemur. We're talking about how the fact that we don't have the mystical DNA inside of us that makes us black goddesses and black queens. Is this another wrap-up show? No. <laughs> All right. There's a lot of stuff going on. Shane Bird says, fuck you, Henry. I will laugh. I will uh, live. And oh, I shall love. I'm going to come to your house. I'm going to beat your family. Reptilian Overlord says, I always talk about skinwalkers with a few of my students. The benefits of being a GED teacher. That's a funny little joke about the fact that they don't allow alien discussion in higher education. All right, because they're afraid of the implications, because they're afraid of their little reputations, everything being ruined for them, because it's a, not science and it's not a fucking serious subject matter, which is absolute dog shit. There's no proof, right? There is. You like what kind of studies have been done? There's been countless studies. No, I mean like real studies. A lot of them. Like tonight. <laughs> this is a big deal. Okay. Uh, you know what I will say is like we're constantly searching for this objective truth. We think we want this sort of we want this hard data. We want pictures. We want videos. We want bodies. We want ships. And I say fuck that. What we want is a vibe, like with the pyramids. Is that it's not about it not being real. It's about it's not real to all y'all. 
Oh, and I also have to make a correction. It's square at the bottom of the pyramid. Yes. I was right. Yeah. You were correct. Oh you were absolutely yes. right. Multiple absolutely triangles. Right. If it's a triangle <laughs> bottom, it's a tetrahedron. Yeah. yeah. No, I no. got a lot of that. But yes. again, no. I was correct. Yes. No. You were correct. No. <laughs> it is no. four triangles no, no, on a square. Ke Kelly because that's like, what a commentary <laughs> Kelly did come from the other room and she was listening yes. to it and showed me a diagram on her <laughs> iPad. It's like, what are you talking about? It's a square. Of course it's a square. You just it's hard because that's how the magic of the pyramids as a self charging spiritual battery actually works because you've got the square mm -hmm. right angles with the triangles on either side naturally generating power pointing towards a crux point mm -hmm. right all you have to do is feed energy into the various into the corners of the square feeds up to the top generates more energy than there was before and that's why the egyptians could float <laughs> See, I learned it all from when my dad used to leave me at the Luxor in Las Vegas. Yes, so that's all you need to know. Yes, that is a that is a pyramid. That is yeah. a pyramid. Base. But yeah, there's actually a name for it. It's called the base. It is a know. base. Yes. <laughs> okay, Britt Wavy says my cousin just got an internship with NASA, so you know I'm trying to get in there. What? Never a straight answer. Yeah, good work at the Lie Factory. Enjoy yourself and your little. Oh, we're going to the fucking moon. You're wearing their merch. It's because it's I'm. It's the dog whistle. <laughs> you can't hear a dog whistle. Exactly. <laughs> Stonehenge is the pyramid. It's all about attitude. Yeah. All right. All so right. Let's all, about, all about attitude. So that's so that's gonna be your that's gonna be your line tonight. Is that this isn't about proof. This is about vibe, and that should be good enough. Yes. And we should just take it at that. <laughs> and pay me money for it. Where's my book deal? But it's you know it's that it's a psychic phenomena. On the whole, sure. I think that what really what's difficult is, is that it's hard to pin down because it's a lot. A lot of it is psychic. A lot of it is it is interdimensional, dimensional thing. You, you just understand. don't understand. Yeah, right. Understand. And that because, you know, David Grush also talks about walking into a UFO. This is the whistleblower that's all over the news. He walked in a UFO that from the outside was about only 40 feet wide, walked inside the side of a football field. So it's just the TARDIS from Doctor Who? Also, like, if you're going to be a whistleblower, don't say you walked in a UFO. Like, give a bunch of other information <laughs> I, first. He did, And then make that yes, a reveal down did. the road. He did. He did he's actually just, do that. There's a lot of people yeah, giving yeah. No, him no, shit. He, he, slow, he slow rolled it. He yeah. slow rolled it. He did, because he started saying, a lot of people were accusing him, because he originally came out and said, these people told me that there are, there are connections with NHIs, the U.S. government, private contracting, retroactively building UFO material that we've been had since before 1933. We have all these old UFOs. We're trying to replicate the technology that we saw inside of it. But they're all saying, oh, because that's secondhand information. No. No. And look at what the truth did to him. <laughs> yeah. Look at what happened to him. Look at his face. He looks like a monkey man. Yes, yeah. he's not a monkey man. No, he's a whistleblower. Like, yeah, and like and monkeys can't short. blow whistles. <laughs> monkey can't blow whistles and you glue it to his lips. Yeah. All right, like, I, that... Right there is the face of American hero. He's not trying to just sell a book or get a television show. No. I refuse to believe that, even though it's in the process. <laughs> I think that he, but he's saying now, a lot of times people say, oh, well, you have no firsthand knowledge. But he's now saying, I do have firsthand knowledge. But a lot of people told me to not say it, including old Chucky Boy shoe. You got to get a disposable camera. Yeah. Just a little. Yeah, a little something, a little popper. Yeah, it's harder than you think, but you go through radiation machines. Now let's look. Now this is like this is we actually do have some very good UFO footage here, and we're going to talk about it. I got a lot to get to. Number one, I brought this here. This is just to pique your interest because you have not really dealt with the UFO topic on the whole yet, Eddie. Yeah. And so this is a mirror something that I too saw. I saw something like this. Oh, is this your about your orb? No, I actually specifically didn't include a lot of orbs <laughs> because of the orb nonsense I heard. Back. Orbs are like spirits. It's a long... Wow. <laughs> We're getting there. We're gonna get there. Marcus is clearly an NSA plant mic. Thank you. But honestly, it's been helping us. It helps us. We're not getting audited. Yeah. All right, so let's yeah. go. It's nice. I have right, my connection. This first video. Now, this was seen over Disneyland this year. I saw something like this over Christmas, over Disneyland last year. I thought it was lasers, and then I'm watching it again. I think it was something like this. Yes, I have glasses now, Mike. Look at this ship. Now, my purview is that triangles are secret U.S. technology of the world of UFOs. Because I saw this, I swear to fucking Abe Vigoda. 
I saw a triangle UFO over Disney. And I know I'm saying this. I mean this. And I saw something like this. I assumed it was drones. And there, there were some people saying- They are oh, testing drones. They are there. testing drones, but not flying in a triangle pattern like that yet. As far as I know. They, yeah, they make, you know, full characters and shit. Yeah, yeah but they, they would be doing that. It kind of seems like Disney is uh, testing out technology to use in, in the future. It's very possible. But I, slow them. They have I, a whole Star Wars land. <laughs> where the, <laughs> and it's full of, and that's full of robots. Yeah, man. But Star I Wars will land. say, to your credit, Disney is a no-fly zone. It's a no-fly zone. It, yeah. is, it, is, it is in the government. You cannot. It's a law. You can't fly over Disney. But last time I was there, I saw a helicopter, so it's probably all gone. But I think those yeah. are Disney copters trying to go find out if people are having sex with Mickey in the Everglades. You know what I mean? Because they don't like it when guys, they don't, they don't like the BCL. Well, that was Disneyland. That was Disneyland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And did you see yours at Disney World or Disneyland? I did see it in Disneyland. I did see, but I believe that I saw the same thing. And I, yes, they might be trying drones, but I also believe, I, I believe that the triangle UFOs that a lot of people see, especially ones that are cloaked, ones that have substantial body mm -hmm. in between the points, but they, I believe that that is U.S. technology or or some form of military technology that we don't know what it is yet. Because they have been trying. This is where one of my points here is that what is the difference between you are inspired by things you're seeing in the sky. So you make a plane that looks like a thing that you might have seen in the sky. It might look like a UFO, but it's top secret technology that they've made to look like UFOs because they can't actually make a proper UFO yet. Five minutes in and you're spiraling. This is, yeah, <laughs> this is where do you think it's gonna go? Where do you think all this is gonna fucking head towards? So, so, <laughs> so your so your contention is that they are making triangle UFO. They're making triangle craft because they've seen triangle UFOs and they're trying to replicate the triangle UFOs by making triangle shaped craft. To what end? To what end? So that people like, because we all saying UFOs. So you're saying that's so, a psyop. So China, Russia, all of us are saying it's UFOs, it's UFOs, but so we're all flying secret technology over the other countries. Uh huh. But that's not, that's not site. another country. That's that's Disneyland. But we have to. We have to. Is it Chinese? <laughs> it's just beginning the process of doing it and testing it, and yeah. then maybe a place like Disneyland is a good place for something like that to buzz over, maybe. I mean, it makes more sense to me than going in the middle of nowhere. Like, whenever they go to Kansas and shit like that, you know, like, that don't make... There's nothing to go there for. But exactly. Disneyland, I mean, that looks like fun. Yeah. Yes. Nugget Fucker 8000 says, Henry, the louder you get, the more I understand. Yeah. That's, <laughs> and that's from the Nugget Fucker. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mr. Fisser asks, do you think the aliens think Star Wars land is offensive? Absolutely. It's like south of the border. Mm -hmm. But not, for aliens. Well, it's history for them. <laughs> Yeah, long time ago, the galaxy, galaxy far, far, far away. away. It's, like it's, it's like the History Channel for them. I don't think it's real. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Star Wars is real. All right? I've said it. Jesus Christ, Easter Bunny, Star Wars. All fictional characters. <laughs> Squid Mask, look up TRB3. It's a triangle bomber made by the U.S. I have. <laughs> and that is what I'm talking about. I have. Okay, I have. <laughs> All right, now this one's fucking spooky as all get out. Dog. Okay, so what are your, de I mean, let's get some designations here. Okay, there's spooky, there's compelling. Do we have compelling yes, footage? Yes, we do have compelling okay, footage. There's oh, there's a whole section, buddy. And what would you call the Disneyland footage? I find that to be, I like... Compelling? I com find it compelling because I, mm. I know I saw something over, I know what I saw. Mm. And I saw over, over Disneyland myself, but I convinced myself that it was a drone. I convinced myself that it was a drone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then, but because somebody put it on the UFO subreddit, now your mind has changed. Yes. <laughs> it's Do no you think it's the same three dots that you saw? You yeah. think it's the same day? I don't know. Wait, wait, I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> I'm not going to go far that far and say that. I'm just going to say it looked like something I recognized. I know usually when I'm in Disneyland, I'm laced on mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. no, I was high. Yeah, yeah, it was high. I had a couple of drinks, but I don't know. But that's but I said, yeah, I was super stoned. I ate a bunch of edibles. I had been drinking, but I did look it up. But come on, you don't think it don't help? Look at these. You don't think it doesn't help me observe? Locks me in. This next one. This next one though is fucking doozy, dog. Watch this one. Watch this shit. 
Now, this was over Argentina. This is all 2023. This is all brand new shit. What the fuck is that thing? That's interesting. Right? That's cool. That is cool. Objeto no identificado. He, he said he literally could not identify it in Spanish. Let's see it again. Let's see it again. Yeah, Look yeah, at this yeah. thing. What in the, What is that? Like, it looks like it is descending. It looks like it has an engine that's shooting out of it. It literally yeah. looks like it has a fuselage. What in the living fuck is it? Looks like a balloon. Maybe it's a blimp that's on fire. We would have heard about you would, that. It would have popped, yeah. right? I've never. I don't know if it slowly rolls down. Some sort of dirigible. Gurgoyle, the guy who paints his sexapades with the aliens, that was uh, uh, David, David Higgins. Gr uh, Dave Higgins, yeah. David Huggins. 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 David Huggins. Huggins. But isn't that? But again, that's super weird. What that the is fuck weird. is that? I mean, it's I not a lot. That. You no, can't really. You can't break into a lot of conversation about it. It's compelling. <laughs> <laughs> these fucking guys on the ropes today, man. I'm not going to quite put it on. It's not compelling for me just yet. It's, really? it's interesting. John Clatsback what says, say? whatever that is, I'm not laughing at it. Whoa! No. Super serious. Super serious. Like Deadly a serious. Clock back. The, uh, what do you think it is? Uh, I would say it's a bed. It's pizza pie. Pizza pie. Pizza pie on fire. Oh, hey, yeah, man. yeah, because hey. the moon hits your eye. It's like, like a, a big, big pizza, pizza pie. pie. That's a more. But I find Travis it says it looks like a parachute with lights. What par parachute with lights? What are you, fucking huffing glue? <laughs> fuck your fuck your life. It says it looks like something on fire that's slowly descending. Yes. yes. That's what it looks like to me. It does. It does look like something that's on fire slow, but I feel like that would make more news. I think more people will talk about it. Well, it was in Argentina. We don't get their news. Yeah. This is Gurney. I saw parasailers with fireworks behind them at a music festival that looked like that. But that wasn't fireworks, Gurney. That's where I got you in a fucking corner. All right? Because that wasn't fireworks. If you look, you see coming down, it was just, it's just weird. It's weird as all fuck. This is what we're talking about here. Deadly serious. All right. yeah. so I, but I'm still going to put that in interesting. I'm not going to put it in compelling just yet. Oh, I, yeah, so we have interesting, compelling, and spooky. garbage. Spooky. Yeah, there's oh. garbage. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's, there's a mixture of garbage. There's definitely garbage. I, my goal here is to avoid just lights. Yes. Because yeah. many things are just lights. I think that just lights, like if you see the... The triangle? Yeah, and yet you... And yet you that, but that's oh, a triangle. And yet you opened with a, a video that was just lights. It was triangle. Three lights. <laughs> triangle shape. Moving in a pattern, in a triangle pattern. It Different. wasn't moving. It, it was, was absolutely moving. Your eyes were it was, was kind of moving. It was moving. You got fucking, you got glaucoma. <laughs> I wish. You know, you got something else going on. There's no, if there's one thing I know I don't have, it's glaucoma. <laughs> <laughs> he sees all too clearly. Cassidy, imagine being in a deadly parachute accident and people think it's a UFO. That's my dream. <laughs> That's all I want. I want it to inspire a bunch of people. It's exactly what I want. But no, it's, so, certain lights, I... Someone maybe describes that they must see some version of plasma, like an energy thing. There's something happening that's coming out of our oceans or just living in the top of our atmosphere. It's one or the other mm. or, or both. And they are just globules of things that are like plasma. And they do zip zop around, right? They zip zop around and they do kind of, they flip it out. But they're maybe not intelligently controlled or they, they react to our mental, they seem to react to our observation of them, but they kind of just go, they do weird things and then zip off. So I don't find that as compelling. I don't find that's like in the orb category. I would not find that as compelling. I'm looking for stuff that's got more gumption. Have you ever seen anything like that before? What? The last video? The the the, the, the Would I the be here? I'd be down? I'd be fucking I literally would be screaming not at about stuff. In real life, you watch these fucking videos all the time, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> have you seen another video that could be compared to something burning slowly descending from the sky? Just kind of what I've, I've never seen anything like that. I've never I, I seen anything a fair like that. of these videos too. I've never seen. No, it was yeah. very unique. That's why I chose it. Okay. Gas, gas mask angel Henry defined plasma. It is a form of matter. Yeah, it's a way it's to make not, money. It's not liquid. <laughs> <laughs> it is because um, it's, it's matter. It was a liquid solid gas. Plasma. Plasma is this unstable form of matter. I heard a giggle in the room from someone who I Who's think knows science. Who's science talking here? Am I right? I'm absolutely correct. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Coach, why would the UFOs need lights? Are they like headlights for their ships, like high beams? I don't buy it. That's because you got a small imagination. It needs lights because it's cool. Vibes, dog. Vibes. All right, All let's right. vibe it up, man. Let's see what the next vibe is. Let's go look at it. 
Honestly, I don't know why they need I think that depends on whether it's how physical they are. Now, what I like about this is, right now, if you peel your eyeballs and you look at this thing, it is exhibiting the exact behavior that we've come to accept from the things they describe as a saucer. It's why they're called a saucer, because it goes like this. <laughs> right? It's look not it. flipping around. Though. See, that's just lights again. See, no, this is just lights. These are just part of a compilation of 2023. This is like a bunch okay. of videos. We're just kind of rolling. If you want to go back again here, look at this thing. Look at this thing. It's going. It looks like it's flying. It's descending perfectly still. No, yeah, no, does, look, it it's flipping up and down. It looks you like a plane. Look. It is not, I don't see it moving in any way whatsoever, it but down into moving. the right. Can we enhance? It's moving down into the right, Can but we it's enhance? not vibrating. It's Can you enhance it all? What is this, the born identity? And yes! <laughs> and yes! you look at you, you did not watch this up close on at home. You're gonna watch this at home. I'll send this to you. Um pla Sean Carr, plasma can be stable. It's just so hot that electrons are not bound to a single nucleus. Okay. Thank you. That's nice. Well, are we enhancing? Is that us? Or is that them? Oh, is this the Vegas thing that you know, that went yes. down? No, it is not what, what went down. Remember the Vegas, like the no, whole no, thing? no, that was never. I right, watch this. You see, look, look, it's flipping around. No, it's it, not. Yes, it is, dog. It's go back. It's not doing. No, anything. it is going like this. It is wobbling. <laughs> look at it wobble. I don't know. It just seems like and you guys are fucking. No, nah, I'm. Watch it. I want to believe, just so you know. <laughs> you I don't really yeah, do. I do too. I don't even know what. I mean, I saw, I saw Look, it kind of. Look, you can of, see that it's spinning. You can see that it's spinning. I mean, I would not say spin. I'd say it's like, I saw it rotate once. It's spinning. Rotating violently. and spinning are diff two different things. It's just spinning. It's just far away. <laughs> it's spinning. It's rotating. It rotated once. But I got that from, I got that from YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but that is like if you look yeah, at you, you know they got stuff. The know? way they talk it, the reason why they originally called flying saucers is because Kenneth Arnold, who was one of the first people to see a group of what he would go on to call flying saucers, is that he said that they moved like saucers on the water, and you throw tea saucers out, and they would wiggle like this, and that's why a lot of times when you see UFOs, yeah, they are doing like a weird. The Wait. more solid ones mm. versus the gaseous ones like this, because they're they're spinning, and it's what? moving like a top. Well, I never heard of that before. Did Kenneth Saucer is uh, Kenneth Arnold said it was because of like throwing tea saucers on water. Yes. What is Kenneth Arnold doing throwing tea saucers on the water? He just was coming up with something he saw an alien for the first time. You know what I'm fucking talk about it. <laughs> but how did he have that frame of reverence? Yes, Dream Cheese Henry is the type of guy that immediately makes everyone groan when he shows up at the city council meeting. Why? Because <laughs> shit's about to get done. Yeah. <laughs> because finally someone's holding people to task. You know, the best way to see a flying saucer is to give your cat alternative. Alternative milk instead of real milk. <laughs> he doesn't That's like stupid. it. <laughs> That's fucking it stupid. Away. And I will not allow it. I will not allow it. Grady, I feel more and more that this is a quadcopter drone flying slowly. Sure. Show me proof then. Why do you why do I have to prove everything? You do it. You fucking prove it to me. You fucking come, you show up with your fucking quadcopter. The person who believes has to prove. Yeah. No. Yeah, you have the burden of proof. No, I don't. Th I think it should be flipped. I think it should be a thing that we should talk about. And I think Biden should talk about that. We get out there and you but like, no, you got to prove me, man. Move me out of my position, dog. They you're the minority. Yeah, and you can just be ignored. Not according to the websites I've been to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of the more reasonable ones. I'm a good one. You are a good one. You are one of the more reasonable ones. I go to the same yeah. place as you do. You're definitely one of the more reasonable ones. I'm one of the good ones. Yes, the burden of proof is on the prosecution. I actually don't even know what that means. What do you mean? That means the defense. That means uh, you know, it's the, a the court of law. The thing. burden of proof is the is on the one who is trying to prove something. So if you are trying to prove that that is a UFO, then I don't the burden prove of proof is on you. I don't have to prove anything. I know it's real. <laughs> <laughs> they got to prove it to me that it's fake. So I'm concerned. Baseline's real. You got to come across to my reality, dog. Come over here. You know what I mean? See what it's like. See what this is like. Looking at me, wow. dude. Wow. All right? Oh. Wow. Right? You have a pretty strong prescription. How'd you go so many years without it? Corrective lenses. Just fucking just drove dangerously at night. Sleazy Dan says proof is in the probing. Very good. That's not mm. bad. Very yeah. good. All right, here we go. Uh, Rose McFarland, we only see stars because they are plasma. Hmm. Cool. 
Fuck yeah. Oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> Not helping anything. All right, here we go. Let's go to this next one. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is a good one, too. It's from last October. It was... It Again, seems like brand it's new. more light. No, it's okay. No. It's not a light. Bulbous. Now, this is not going to be the first bulbous we show today. There's make cubes. Cubes, bulbous things, amorphous shapes. Curious in nature. Alien. So this is on night vision? It just looks like No, it's on fucking daytime green vision. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a bug flew in front of the yeah. Telescope. Yeah, yeah sure. It, it looks like Did a floaty. Did a bug fall in front of you and you eat it like you're a big fucking frog, you <laughs> asshole? I, I didn't mean bugs. to come in. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Looks like a floaty thing. But it, but that's the thing is that if um that is yeah it is, is a floaty. But what's it's, a UFO? But that's if the thing, not a fucking floaty thing. But if this is night vision, then and it looks just like the rest of the stars, that is just another light. It's not like the other fucking stars. Take it back. <laughs> Look at it again. This one happened on my birthday, <laughs> Baked Alaska Triangle. This is the hard man. This is what you have to do. Look at this. I'm here. I'm here. I'm it's three dimensional <laughs> space. What's the name? It's not a light. It looks very similar to the It other. is not. It's specifically not a light. It's very Missile Command. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm. It's actually really cool. I'm, I'm actually going to use that from now on. That is very Missile Command. <laughs> so look at that. I feel you when you see this, right? So right now you're all like, uh, I'm fucking ignorant. But when you watch a couple of these later, you're gonna see that that thing actually pops up several times. That's a bulbous thing. It's something like a cube. I think it's very similar to what some of our boys saw in uh, the Navy. Now, do you think that's inside Earth's sphere or outside? No, I think that's right. That's in our. That's lower than the stars. That is. In I know the sky. it's lower than the stars. Yeah. You know. It's in the sky. Atmosphere. That's yeah. where it is. I was saying. It's it in the air. Be, it could be right outside of Earth, right? Yeah. Tech Comics. This one is wobbling. Correct. It's a bulbous. This is one that I think it's got more shape to it, and it's it's probably. I think it's biological in nature. I think that it's a. Uh, we are not. Like, it's not an alien craft, necessarily. I just think it's a part of uh, uh, Horatio's philosophy that we do not yet understand. Ah, uh, there are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than is dreamt of in your philosophy. See? Yep. Yeah. Shakespeare. I would have... Five guys. Shakespeare is five guys, each one of them gay. Like Saltburn. <laughs> Just yeah. like Saltburn. So much evidence like to the Salt contrary. Yeah. It is he. So much evidence to the contrary. Wasn't real. So much evidence to the contrary. Shakespeare a mountain was of evidence five to the contrary. Guys. It was that that was something that was a fucking claim that uh, academics make to make themselves sound smart. To contrarian. It was Moliere. Contrarian. Contrarian viewpoint. I think Shakespeare is a fucking fallacy, and his work should be deleted. <laughs> <laughs> it's in too deep at this point. Yeah, it's too far. <laughs> We're too far. Have you ever read that about how Shakespeare's fake? I've heard that before, but you know, I think it's more of just like it's shitty, though, right? Isn't that th it's like pop culture? It's you know, it's silly. See, yeah, isn't, argues the mystery. Isn't a conspiracy theory? Five guys. I think you have. Um, it was the you had the food guy, mm -hmm. you had the fashion guy, yeah, mm -hmm. you had Caramo, uh huh, you had the um, Italian from the all Italian, the, all the, uh, all and the then Italians. a guy, always yeah, a guy in a wheelchair. And so they you, didn't have wheelchairs, did they? Yeah, they had something. Yeah, they had to put them on something. They had a basket or something. Another guy, right? <laughs> and tubular. Can we <laughs> shut off the stream? Like You're full of shit. It was like 15 AD. Like they could yes. affix wheels to a wicker chair. They had to have, right? They, had they, wheel, just, they had wheelbarrows at the very least. They might have just thrown you in the river. Yeah. Well, let's look at this next. Unless one. you were a king. Yep. We'll see. They didn't do it to FDR. We let him. We let him do something. Now watch this thing. Okay. This, this reminds thing, this me of Disco cool. Elysium. Oh, that's cool. That was like a full year ago. <laughs> it was the beginning. It was the beginning. Of the What's that shit? Right? Looks like a rip in reality. I know. It looks like a... It looks like a... Uh, pube? It's like a yeah, it looks so like a pube on the lens. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> but it moved around. And, and that's it? not one of the only... I've saw several of these skinnies. I don't think it moved around. Look at it. I guess. I think the camera was moving around. It was falling. It was slightly sliding through the air. It looks like it is the same shape as the fire one. 
I will say that. It might be something very close. Okay, now I can see the movement. Now I can Gretchen see the movement. Gretchen Fisher calls yeah. it a sky snake. I actually think that that's cute. I think it's very cute. I moved up. Do you remember in Disco Elysium when you have to go look for the cryptid? Yeah, of course, yeah. Bigfoot hates plastic. You know it's a reliable source because of the American flag emoji. Yes, very <laughs> proud. Probably served. Yeah, Fridays. I'm, another interesting one. <laughs> I just think that this is the stuff. This is very good. We're at the very top. We're easing in. We're, we're 40 gonna... minutes into the show. Wow. We're going to need longer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm even halfway through. <laughs> All right, now. Grady says that's a smudge on a window to which they are filming through. That's because you're weak-minded. And I wish you could see it and understand more about yourself and about others. So let's show this next one. I love attacking everyone. This whole point of ufology, you will see Eddie in the end, is that you have to be alone. Now, look, look at this. This okay. is out of an airplane window? This is out of an airplane window. Now, this is not... The other one that was shot recently was debunked. This one has not been debunked. Look Dude, at this. This is, this is compelling. This is the same exact bulbous object that was in the night vision like it's very similar in shape and movement yeah sky bussies what's that shit no that's compelling see that's good uh, that is compelling it looks like cgi there's like a thing around it is there, and it's that's rising. the energy field. Yeah, now that you mention it, Ed, it does look. No, it does not it does look, look like, like CGI. Like you are incorrect. It does. You are yeah. incorrect. You've yeah. never seen this before. You don't know what to look for. If I never, I have perfect eyes for it. If I've never seen it before. No, it's opposite. True. Yeah. You have to learn how to yeah. see it. No, it's the opposite. Yeah. Again, you no, have to prove to me. He makes a really good point. No, you have to see, learn how to look. Since he's not in this and he's seen it for the first time, if you can't convince like. <laughs> One of your best friends. <laughs> he's the exact. He's you literally. Convince anybody he's like, else. well, that's the problem is that he knows me too well. Oh, okay. He knows me too well. Yeah, if he was a, wrong a bunch. No. If he was a stranger, <laughs> he'd be doing it. He'd be, he'd be ready. Oh, wait. Bigfoot hates plastic. I, an ex, I, read, I read an explanation for this one. Let me grab it. It's a balloon over a celebration in a specific region. If I have to hear one of you, if I hear you fucking balloon lovers, balloons don't go up that that's, high. That's that's UFO racism. Uh, balloons by the way. can go. Up, oh no, to cruising altitude, altitude of a plane, that's pretty high. Yeah, it's very high. Yeah, it's it can get, it can might get up yeah. there, but I don't think that is a balloon because of the solid way it is traveling. But is it not just? Could it not just be staying in the same place and the plane? Since the plane is traveling, it I'm makes, not a gives fucking it the pilot. Gives it the appearance of movement. I'm not a fucking pilot. I'm not Mr. Johnny Flies a lot. I would imagine that if a plane is moving and another thing but is... But that still, was moving. That was but, moving. But the plane, plane was, was going forward. That was going this way. It was coming this way while the plane was going forward. It looked like an easy <laughs> Just CGI. fucking laugh at me. It's not CGI. It's not. It's really there. It really was there. I believe that. Galactic okay. Jack. Good thing Sully Sullenberger wasn't flying that plane or he would have sucked that shit through the engine and killed everyone on board. But then he would have saved the day and then Tom Hanks would have played him and then Tom Hanks gets to buy another typewriter. And great for him. Good job, Tom Hanks. I watched Elvis last night. He's hilarious. I, I love that. Him. I loved him. <laughs> I thought that people said that he was overacting, and I was like, I love him in this. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't was... give it another shot. I didn't give it another shot. And Austin be... Butler was great. I hate all Boz Lerman movies. I, except I really for that one. I enjoyed Elvis. I right. loved Elvis. Right. I'll give it another shot, then. Sean Corr was in the world's highest skydive from a really high balloon. I believe that was from a ladder. I believe that was, remember the Red Bull one? Where he went up like two miles in the sky. You remember that one? It was he's he's people trying to commit suicide for commercials. He built a two mile high ladder. It was like a tower, it? right? You guys know what I'm talking about? I don't think anybody in the world's ever heard of this. Two miles. He went to space, but from but a wasn't ladder? It on a platform. It was a ladder. <laughs> What is your fucking Looney Tunes brain fucking This ain't a you? Red Bull mandate. This is a UFO mandate. All right, I didn't look that up. Weren't they trying to build an elevator to space for yes. a little while? Yeah, yes. space, space elevator is a big deal. Yeah, we've been thinking cool. about. Yeah, we've been thinking about that for a while because the idea of being able to do because the main problem, the hardest part about space travel is getting off of the planet Earth. Yeah. That is the hardest part. So the idea of building a what they would do is put a weight on one end and then they connect the other end to the 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 Earth, right? And then when they shoot the weight up, they take the weight up out of space and then they leave it in space with a cable like thing connected back to the earth. So it's by the, the gravitational pull of the earth, it's held taut 
right? And then you can send things up the cable into space easier that way. Fuck you. Mm, yeah. Space elevator. If we ever have moon bases, we'll build one. And I'm going to be in there. I'm you, going to be you, in there. Henry's won't. confusing if it's South Park or where they build a ladder to heaven. I might have been. Dream Jesus. <laughs> All right. Now, this next series of videos I want to show you is like, this shit's fucking all over the news right now. Is it? It's the hot new realness. Jellyfish are everywhere. Yeah, the jellyfish are a big deal. It's uh, the Sydney Sweeney of UFOs. It is, you're going to love that it is, yeah. this is the hot new, it's the euphoria of UFOs. Everyone's obsessed with it. Um, sucking dick, eating pussy, eating cum out of an apricot, Willy Wonka. This shit is legit. This came out of the Jeremy Corbell weaponized podcast. He was showing this. Now, this was filmed out of this, or this was supposedly filmed of a U.S. Joint Operations Base in Iraq. What in the living fuck is that fucking garbage dog? Right? So this is a part of it. This is just one. This jellyfish stuff is everywhere, and there's nothing funny about it. Or I mean, it just looks like horse shit. It's a jellyfish it's UFO. It's the worst one yet. It is. You don't understand. You just don't get Where's the shadow? That is cool as fuck. It's above. The you shadow's see, above? You couldn't see the, the shadow. Is the, you the don't know. You gotta watch it. You'll look. Yeah, and that is right. Where is the shadow? It's a diaphanous material. <laughs> Bigfoot diaphanous? hates plastic. I found out recently that pissing on jellyfish things actually does nothing. Except for me. <laughs> I'm pissing my feet. See, I thought like actual jellyfish were thought to be aliens. No, it's nothing no. like that. No, no, it's no, a no. UAP that's uh... a style of UAP that has been coming out recently called this the jellyfish. It just looks impractical. But it's yeah, man. We don't know what its nature is. And why we don't those, know why what those it's two for. people not give a fuck about? They don't it. give a shit because they are on command. <laughs> They are on they the didn't phones. react in any way whatsoever to that thing flying above them. Because they probably didn't even see it. Or maybe they are. You can't see. You're not watching them go like... You could. See, you would have been able to see them. Yeah, point yeah, yeah but you it, maybe you it was after like the fact. Ten feet above the ground. Look, they're looking like... <laughs> fence. You guys are... You fucking... You are coming. You have to see this. That looks like you a have, dude with a rocket pack right you now. You have to listen there. Yes. Grady is correct. This is a thermal video. So we're not necessarily bee shadows. That is true. That is true. This is very, this is cool. Sure. <laughs> I, you have, this is my life. Yeah. You, whatever you think no, about I this. I appreciate it. No, I this do This is my it. life. I, I dedicated I would try to learn to more, and I'm, I'm going to, you know. Uh, I cannot believe it, but this is the worst one. Margo, you full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> because I, you, what's interesting about this, there's been several witnesses that did come forward and talk about this. You, this has been, like, one of those, much like how David Fravor, who was the pilot who first came out talking about like you know the Tic Tac UFO, the, all that video, all that video evidence that, that came cool. out in 2010. Yeah, it's very yeah. cool. But part of what they see all the time are cubes with circles on the inside of it flying around. Mm -hmm. But this is the new, new one. This is the one that they have been saying. Well, you said that was from 2018. Like, this is one of the other ones that we've been seeing yeah, that's a lot. There's these jellyfish old. things. That one's six years old, but we have more. The jellyfish, if it is, it looks like it's broken or something. Well, it's, it's, we don't know what it is. There, I do have a video of it pooping on an orb, but I couldn't, you can't really see it. So how do you, if you can't really see it, then how do you have the video? You kind of goes like, <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't work if you blow it out. Let's watch this next one. Let's watch this next one. Now, this it's is the jellyfish exact same video. This is not. Well, this is some, wait, This is the. Yeah, yeah, like, thank you. So this was one, right? This is obviously now. If you look at the close up, I'm like, it is weird as fuck. Like, what is that? It's like it looks like a pile of seaweed or something, but it's not moving. It's just flying through the air. There's been a couple of superstructures, superstructure UFOs. We've seen something like this, where it is kind of like it looks like it's not made out of something solid, but obviously it is. And then it was also seen in Poland. That's balloons. It might be, or it might not be. Jellyfish. And there's this is not. I'm just saying it's seen many times. The first very one, similar shape. Granted, I'll give you that one. The first one's kind of weird. That's balloons. This one's. This one might be a balloons. It but no, like that'll look like balloons. It's a bunch of balloons in a. No, but it's not blanket. flopping around. It's not flopping around. Watch this one. 
Balloons would be shifting around. What's that thing? Very similar to the same thing that we saw uh, with the Jetpack Man and stuff that looked like the Jetpack Is Man that, that was going throughout Christ? 2022. Please. Please, oh, this is all UFO wow, stuff, man. Me. My whole so life is just me sitting and watching these. Yeah. Jesus, the one thing you, you never did was yes, fly. You should have flew. No, if Jesus really wanted to make nah. people give a fuck, it went behind the, the tree and he'd zap see lightning and stuff. Oh no, it's right there. Yeah, you guys need some. You guys need some weed. Hello. You guys gotta see better. I mean, if I sent you this at night, I'm gonna come home right now, buddy. Well, look at the baby's crying. Doesn't know, know what that is. Long skinny. What is it? You don't think that's balloons? <laughs> There's Smite saying it's balloons, but that ain't balloons, dog. Looks like it's coming down. It's a scary sight. Now it's very similar. Southern California. The Jetpack Man. The for all they're calling the Jetpack jet Man, pack. right? Because they, they thought there was a man flying a super high powered, some form of fixed up private uh, UFO. Like he got this thing, which is very, very strange. Right? Again, here, look, it's stripping. It's got this fucking tail shit. Descendieron las dos entidades what is that? Acercándose hacia the jellyfish. Los animales, alertando los I mean, Michael Shanks, that does look just like a guy. That was what they were saying. They thought it was the Jetpack Man, but they never found the Jetpack Man. And they don't know they couldn't find somebody who had a commercial slash private jetpack that would allow it to travel at the height that it was. It was buzzing airplanes and shit. That's on the ground, ain't it? It's flipped down. Close enough. Dog saw it. The dog did see it. The dog saw it. That's the compelling part of it. Are these five? Um, yeah, they're Jeff hanging Pac out. Man? That's a family. You got oh, David yeah. Schwimmer, no. Rachel, <laughs> Phoebe, dead guy. No, he's not. There's five, so he's he's not there. Joey? No, Joey's there. Yeah. And Frazier. <laughs> That's what I call him. <laughs> Frazier was the wheel winner of all of those. Because then we found out, actually, you know, because Seinfeld never won an Emmy. Wow. Frazier did, though. Cleaned up. Wow, like the like him Seinfeld himself or the show itself never won. Show itself, Emmy. really? No, I think he got one. So that means you just won said no, never. They won ten Emmys. What? Yeah. Won it was, it was a Emmys? highly um, lauded show. You got to prove that. To you, me. Gotta, you know, I actually know the uh, you know the I'm number gonna one. See, I'm going to need to see those Emmys to look at that. <laughs> the the show with the most nominations with no wins, fifty three. Better Call Saul. Whoa! 53 nominations, not a Never single won? Not a single win. And before that, the record was Bob Newhart with 24. Ah, uh, Bob. Bob Newhart. He's the only one left. You know what? Because you know what is thing about him? Refuse to eat pussy. Is that what they him say? Him and DJ Khaled. That's because he stammers too much. Probably would be great at it. I can't feel like a stammer would actually be, make you really good at eating pussy. <laughs> Take comics acts. Um, are we? Are you guys? Are you guys all roasting me? Are we getting any good ones soon? Fuck you all. Yeah, we do have eight minutes. I don't care. We're gonna go all night. We did start late. We so did start we late. Have so we have twelve late. minutes. Yeah. You guys are all fucking. You don't know. You guys got to watch these at home. That's what the key is. The they key, are watching this they, at home. Yeah, they're no, watching. but they got to watch it by themselves. <laughs> they're watching it. I am guarantee you most of these people are watching this by themselves at home on the exact same size of computer screen that you watched it at home by yourself. They're just roasting me because they like to be contrarian and they're having fun with it. But in real life, they're shocked. All right. In real, in reality, they're broken. When they go to work tomorrow, they're not going to be able to do their jobs. Every day they know that they, they know that the fucking the next wave's coming. Whatever happened and catastrophic to the, disclosures coming right behind it. Whatever happened to the backyard alien? We all stopped talking about that guy. It's because it was something else happened in there. Oh, that wasn't an alien. The family was looking for the family was looking for money. Oh, okay. Mm, yeah, it was a hoax. That's right. Yeah, but it was but the cops did think they saw something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's do another one. These are all jellyfish. Still on jellyfish. Yeah, buddy, this is fucking real. Look at what is that thing? What is what thing? That fucking weird glowing thing. In the middle of the baseball field. Fucking too good for the show. Martinez grababa el partido y no vio a esta misteriosa presencia y tampoco los niños que estaban en el campo. El niño de la tercer base parece percibir algo, pues voltea en al menos dos o tres ocasiones. There's nothing there. He's a fucking Yeah, yeah they are. They stopped that the baseball That little kid is so bored. That little kid is so... Like, that's... They've seen so many horrors wherever they live. <laughs> this is something that is this just... This is actually different, because it's not the junta. Like, that's... It's not the generalissimo. All right, cut this now. Cut this now. 
Because they, they, they are Nobody used to. Reacted. Like Nobody reacted. Nobody reacted. That was the most bored little scared. girl I've they're ever seen. They're all holding back. So they are probably afraid. <laughs> I think that they're afraid <laughs> that it was sent by the Generalissimo. Not the Gen- most Generalissimo South American is, countries are wonderful places without civil unrest. I'm just saying the they're Generalissimo the comes through. Game, for fuck's sake. You never know. I don't know but what that could have done the marks there. Yeah, but <laughs> honestly, it could have been anywhere. I'm pretty certain that was filmed in the Bush Gardens. <laughs> Coach, so where are these aliens coming from, Henry? Calls coming from inside the house, friend. They could be time traveling humans. They could be international, interdimensional. In nature, we don't know what they're here for. They, yes, I imagine there are ones that are solid. There absolutely are ones that are solid. And they are in the U.S. government, hanging out with Chucky e. Schumer, going out with Kevin Spacey, right? Bill Clinton. Is there a planet in another galaxy that we have our eyes on? Currently, there's actually one. Have yeah, you seen this? Have you one. heard about this? Have you heard about that? I've heard about it. And I've they, seen they, have, uh, they have methane. We're talking about literally there's yeah. farts coming from it. Okay. So one of the ways we look for life. You call it uh, poopiter. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. One of the ways that we look for extraterrestrial life, biological extraterrestrial life on other planets, is that we measure a spe- it's like a spectrum of light that is coming off of the planets themselves, and we test that light. There's like a, there's a way scientists do it. It's boring. I can get into it. But it's like there's a way that they look at the light, and they can find out the chemical composition. That of kind of what's coming off of it. And what they're basically looking for are farts because farts mean life. Farts mean that there's something that is eating something and generating some form of energy, some kind of growth energy that's natural. But aren't most of the planets in the Milky Way gas? <laughs> Actually, I think, no. Well, Saturn's got water. Saturn's a rock with water. Uh, Jupiter's it's, mostly gas. No, Venus it's not, is Saturn's, a rock. No, Saturn's Mars not. is a rock. I think Saturn's a gas but, giant. No, but it's got water on the on the uh, planets. Think, on the moons has water. It's got solids. It's got ice. I think that's, Saturn's not a rock. I'm saying, Gurney, that's fine. It's Jupiter's Jupiter's the one. Jupiter's, Jupiter's moon. Jupiter's Io. Yeah. That's got they think, the, the water the on they it. Think. But I think Uranus, which is the proper pronunciation, is rock. Watch wow. alone group. Okay, it's uh, 85% of the people we did are a watching poll, alone. 85% watching alone, 14% watching with more than one person. Whoa, look at that. We and really 1% are. 1% is a dog? Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, that's me. We're testing crap. I like my people who are alone. So, what? So, but that also negates your point because that means that 85% of this group is in prime position to accept these videos and yet they are not. We're only, Gurney's only sending me the roasting comments. Gurney, are, 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 are you only specific. sending roasting comments? Are you are you withholding? Are you She's withholding? Specifically <laughs> withholding. She's that, specifically that wasn't withholding. evil. That wasn't evil. Yeah, that, that wasn't was, evil. That was an evil. Let's laugh. watch this last video. Let's watch another one of these jellyfish. Watch this one. I'm fascinated with this. You gotta watch. You gotta hear the witnesses talk about this. You have to hear the witnesses That's talk about. That's fucking this. balloons. It's not. It's not balloons. That this you're obviously being racist. This time. You're being racist and wrong, and I mean, you're gonna be canceled. It has a shadow. You're gonna be canceled for saying it. You all. This is also from 2018. This yeah. This you is said old. This year. Some of it, but it's coming out now. The, the the video that it came from was new. These guys call themselves sky watchers. That's obviously a road. It's a parking yeah. lot. It's a parking lot watcher. Mostly he sees a lot of sex workers and Kias. Because nothing makes me think about a sex worker more than a nice teal Kia. It's railing her against Oh, it set off a motion detector. Yeah. See? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> David says, I think this is performance art. Because you don't understand. So if why is the video the still going? Talk, if you listen to the witnesses, which I did want to do because they're very long, it's long. But why? But what? Does nothing. Nothing has happened for a while. This is a long. I just kept this going. Uh, See, because you get to the, oh, you get the, the, the close up of it. That you can. It moves like a bunch of balloons. It really does. It moves like a jellyfish. Like dying balloons. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. It's even got like the metallic. My, the, my JS with these yeah. more convincing with a different synth drone, maybe. I'm watching with my cat, and your cat yelling scared him away, according to the Galactic Jack. Your cat's not ready for fucking life. All right, if you can't handle my well yelling, I don't know how it's going to deal with the 2024 election cycle. Man, those aliens look a lot like numbers. <laughs> I'm just saying, I think that's 
to comics. They were not withheld for five years on purpose. They were building it. That was a part of a longer documentary about jellyfish UFOs in South America. Okay. An hour of it I watched. If you watched I'm, the stuff you. I watched that was around this material, the stuff that brings this material to the forefront, you'd understand. So this is the good stuff. <laughs> If you watched <laughs> what I watched, Jeremy Corbel says that he does have footage and they are working on finding out in a way because he saw he's not allowed to put it out yet. But they're going to show that a jellyfish goes into the water and it pops back out. Just so you know, Ed, uh, all of them have evidence they're not allowed to it show. Is, it is. Why are they not allowed to show Because it. it's too sensitive. What are you talking about? There's an I election cycle. Biden, needs, Biden, is, <laughs> Biden is plummeting. <laughs> he's plummeting. <laughs> All right? But oh. Henry's made a dying balloons. You're all full of shit. <laughs> Each one of you is fucking don't get anything. And you've never read anything good. You're never getting invited to a birthday party ever again. Oh, man. <laughs> We're going to put up a poll at the end. Who, who believes in who believes. Oh, I'm going to put right. up a poll yeah. about who believes in who believe doesn't. I believe in aliens. I you guys are all... This is a, the thing is, you're all post-ironic. Post <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm dealing you. with... I'm dealing with professional haters here. I'm dealing with haters and losers. I'm dealing with these people that are coming here and they're basically oh. saying, like, oh, you don't want to believe because you want to shift your precious paradigm because then you're going to fucking... Oh, you're like, oh, but what about bed rotting? How will I bed rot? If I fucking, if jellyfish are, or UFOs are real, then I'd have to do something. Then I'd have to make my tax dollars fucking do something. Which is what I was talking about today at Side Stories about my 50 Bobcat revolution against the Washington, D.C. Not the cat, the construction machine. Oh. Um, KNS, I, was... I haven't heard y'all recommend MUFON lately on your shows. What groups are legit for searching for UFO evidence? Don't give a single person money. Yeah, that is true. Don't give don't give money. anybody yeah. any money. Weren't you just complaining about Chuck Schumer taking away the money? <laughs> but no, I'm just saying no, I was that that was about the protections. Protections, oh, yeah, protections for whistleblowers. For whistleblowers. For whistleblowers, yeah. because this is a real thing. And for those of you that are that have to deal with this ridicule every day, I want to say first of all, I'm with you. You're a marginalized group. I'm sorry that these two bigots are allowed to share a platform with me. And you hired me. Yeah. I <laughs> yeah, he was but you allow but in yeah. many ways you we allowed yourself yeah. you allowed yourself to be hired. <laughs> Harrison W, what can I do to stop the aliens as an individual? Trank whiskey. Because the war begins at home. And you have to again, it's here. Vibes. What we were saying at the very top. Right? You want your you want your quote unquote empirical truth. And the reason why you want that is because you're scared. Of oh boy. this silence. That's what you're scared of. You're scared of the ontological silence of looking inward and not looking for the answers you so desperately seek, right? Because what is life but a pyramid that is a circle mm -hmm. that is also a square? That makes sense. I can get behind that. Cast Blast says, Henry, have a hall pass for alien ass. Unfortunately, no, I do not. It has actually been explicitly discussed <laughs> in our family. Because <laughs> Natalie's actually even sort of had a form of, it's not anger. But she has said, so you want to go get abducted? You want to do this stuff? And then I don't go. And I was like, because I can take getting a fucking, getting the cum, like, pump stubbed up my urethra to make me super hard and make me come for alien babies and I don't want that to happen to you. Yeah. I can take it. Right. Because I'll fucking I feel like she's no offense, she's stronger than you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. ALF says how how Henry, how can I set the vibes for the aliens? I think that you need to have an open mind and I think that you need to I mean, you got to chillax. Smoke them if you got them. <laughs> Remember, pyramid can be a circle, can be a square. All at once. Polls are open. Polls are open for do you can believe. Circle, can circle uh, be a and square? And we do have this one last long now, form one that we can show that it's actually a really compelling story. And I, I also want to ask on the poll, is like, is it do you believe or do you believe Henry? Because those are two different things. Yes, but yes it's different because, again, yeah. I understand. I am. I don't think you actually understand is that I'm actually an allegorical obstacle. And said, so you look at me, and yes, maybe you think, oh, he's so funny and charming. All he does is fuck. 
<laughs> he loves fancy restaurants. And he's got cool shoes. Why should I believe him? Right. Right? <laughs> right. But if you see past me and you look at the material. Members only. You will see because guess what I am? A member of my own club. <laughs> from Goose Relations. And you have to do that. That's why be like, you don't, you may not believe in me because you're not supposed to. I'm the obstacle. Believe in yourself. Um, Valerie says, Marcus, we're going to wrap it up soon. Hang in there. <laughs> <laughs> this was very knowledgeable. But we do have a long form video. Do you want to show the long form video that we can get into before we end? All right. Because this is a good story. Now, this is good old fashioned. Now, this comes from the, Kol the Kolshushk family. Kolshushk? Kolchik might be Kolchik. On the evening family. of October 25th, 1973, he went as a, a young pseudonym. Pennsylvania farmer, Stephen Pulaski, He's not and at Stephen least 15 Pulaski. other witnesses, His name is saw Kolchik. a bright object hovering over a field near them. Stephen grabbed his rifle and went to investigate. It was then that he noticed something walking along by the fence. They were hairy and long armed, with greenish hairy? yellow eyes, and Thumb a smell like hairy. burning rubber. Was it's present. fucking again a stranger Stephen than fiction. Stephen sensed dog. that these creatures were not friendly and fired a tracer bullet over their heads. Very Polish move. And when they kept on coming, he fired directly at one of them. The creatures then all disappeared into the woods. Michael and the blowing a small disappeared idea, from the field. It's just military tech needs to be hidden. UFO researchers, but it's as well as a state that trooper, an idea, were called Michael in says. to investigate. When they arrived, the people there told them that Stephen had been growling like an animal and flailing his arms. Yeah, dude, his own got his dog head. ran toward him, and Stephen attacked the dog. Stephen then collapsed. Bit the dog. After a time, began it's from Pennsylvania. Senses. The entire group commented on the nauseating, sulfur-like odor that they was fart. Aliens smell bad. Didn't we cover this in an episode, the Pennsylvania Bigfoot flap? No, it's, it's, it might be the same... Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, this is part of that story. Yeah. This is the Pennsylvania Bigfoot. Flag. Yes. Oh wait, but it's awesome because this is the first time I've ever seen it pictorialized. Huh. Andrew Zabrowski, why does it seem like Marcus and Ed want to give Henry a wedgie? It's because they're play acting and they're actually very scared. So we all looked off the porch and watched just come down slow. He was making like some kind of humming noise then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm down there. Yeah, I'm down there. Put up my grandma. I like a nice whisper. That's how you know it's a real witch. Because he's saying it's light. Dude, you got to. <laughs> I gotta send you stuff. I have to send you stuff. Yeah. I do like this because this guy obviously went crazy. You he saw some shit. The whole story is really fun. Get out of the truck. Green says it's in burning rubber odor, a sign of seizure, some severe brain trauma. Not all the time. It's like aliens. Aliens also been literally, they smell like farts and cinnamon. Yeah, there was a, a time in 1973, a bunch of uh, Bigfoots and um, UFOs invaded this small section of Pennsylvania. It was incredible. It's what's it called the true, like flat. It's wow. a true, it's a true yeah. flap. It's a true flap. Because normally with flaps, it's like a whole thing. It's everybody comes out of the woodwork. Ghosts, yeah. big feet, yeah. fucking UFOs. Yeah, all flap, that when, you say, when we say UFO flap, that means a bunch of people see a bunch of UFOs. Okay. Over a period of time. It's also the sound of a ufologist running across an airport. So when it got within about maybe 50 or 60 feet, maybe. Lazy plant. Henry, what do you think will happen in five to 10 years? Will video qualities get better? Will we find proof? I feel like the longer we're searching for some form of proof, the longer we're not going to find it. I think it's a trickster at the very heart of the phenomenon. It's very difficult to pin down using our paltry primate science. It's long. This is what the truth is, dog. It's quiet. It's a it's lulling. You have to sit for hours and slide into it. Yeah. It's a vibe. Slide. Lull. Slide into it. Do you have tracer bullets? 
At home, Marcus? I don't, have a, I don't own a gun, but yeah, I'm sure someone does. One family member or another probably has tracer bullets. Rose McFarland says seizures smell like cinnamon. Maybe your seizures smell like cinnamon because you have breakfast seizures. I wouldn't know. Cinnamon toast. That's a good breakfast soup for me. Mm. What? Cinnamon toast. Did you have breakfast? Yeah, cinnamon toast for breakfast. First, Wonderful. We're watching an alien video. <laughs> Let's just use. Chain We're watching Mark. a drawing and some guy yeah. kind of talk. It's yeah. called UFO footage. <laughs> <laughs> it's not UFO footage. There's no UFOs. And the and like the entire guys. the testimony is not about UFOs at all. The it's testimony aliens. is about the aliens. Some guy went crazy in front of his family. You he started wrong. shooting his gun around You're and he hit his dog. And then he's like, "I'm sorry." And then everyone's like, "We should talk." About this. Marcus looks like he's about to fall asleep in algebra. That's because, again, what he'll learn later on, it's important. ALF, the three of you exist as cultural thought forms like Mickey Mouse. What if you had to fight your thought form of yourself? I'd lose. Yeah. I would imagine my thought form is uh, assumed to be far more intelligent than I really am. This is am. fascinating. I will not take anything else. Do we get a palate cleanser? Uh, Lindsay, this was the palate cleanser. Yeah. That was the palate cleanser. That was it? Yep. And what did you name that one? You named it a, a, a Polish man encounter. Mm -hmm. Save the worst for last. Yep. Oh. Well, you know. Oh, he was Polish? Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, you had a, let's see here. Um, yes, I can I I have as many UFO mandates as I choose, Shane. The Corbell jellyfish Iraq. Uh, Mexico baseball jellyfish. Yeah. Which is a great thing. They're torn with string cheese incident no next year. No one gave a fuck about the baseball one. It's because, yeah. again, the Generalissimo had just done his culling. The women were done wailing. La was, Llorona was just there. It was in Mexico. If, if La Llorona had just been there, uh, okay. no, one will, no one will notice a jellyfish. Final tally. Do you believe? Yes. 78%. No. 21%. Uh, take a seat, my friend. That's a Biden win. That's number one. Number two, do you believe Henry? Oh, sure. Again, ontological obstacle. Yes, 48%. That's not bad. No, for polling, 51. For polling? Because that's got a plus or minus 20%. <laughs> For polling, that's pretty that's good. for polling. That is the most accurate possible poll yeah. we can do. People just that's click the button. This is just a substrata of our audience. You had an hour to convince them. No, I'm not trying to convince anyone. That's not my job to evangelize. My well, job is to show compelling footage. Uh -huh. We sit here, analyze it, all right, accept, and see. Paradigms get shifted, whether you want to or not, bro. How's your paradigm feeling, Ed? I, I think that the second video was the only one that was actually, like, cool. And that's why we're going to train you. Yeah. We're going to train you to the you can see better. I can see an inch of your paradigm shifting. See? <laughs> Just a little inch. I, I do Van, believe in aliens. Right before Cassidy Van Houten says, stupid. Yes, you just don't. <laughs> you got to get into the vibe, and I got to send you more reading. <laughs> Cassidy Van Houten, I need Ed's reaction to the Dolphins game in two words. It's cold. Yeah. yeah. They, yeah looked, they looked real miserable out there. We didn't have a chance. Their hands didn't work. Yeah, no. it's hard to work. They're, again, they're fish. Yeah. Guys... This has been my mandate. I hope that, again, I'm not here to be your guru, even though people keep asking me. I'm not here to be your leader. <laughs> and I'm not here to convince you of things you're not ready to believe in. All I'm here is to present options and allow you to ask yourself the question, what do I believe? I spaced out. What did you say? Fuck you both. <laughs> I've done all the... I know what's happening. I know you know. I don't need you to convince me otherwise. I know what I read and seen. You done, though, right? Yeah, we can end. <laughs> <laughs> we can end. Good. <laughs> Bye, everybody.
Oye. Oye. Jellyfish. Oye. Ven acá. Ven acá.